My name's Elliot Lim and I'm the Global Head of Corporate Banking for Mises. So corporate banking in general has changed significantly. It's evolved over the last 10, 15 years beyond the place it ever was. And we've gone from a place where the whole corporates were predictable. So the banks understand their customers is the key thing. Okay? So they were very predictable 15 years ago. A corporate was a corporate. Now, if you look at the extremes in Japan, a corporate has grown to be a bank, somewhere like Bank of Mitsubishi. If you look on West Coast USA, you've got the far example where you have a startup that becomes a multinational almost within 12 months. So the, the requirement of that is very very different on the bank so I think it comes down to one point which is the most agile bank wins and that for me means we have to have some way managing the agility expanding the ecosystem and bringing it all together I chaired a roundtable at Cybos last year in Singapore and we had some very senior bankers around corporate banking and the main thing that came out of it was an acceptance that we need to redefine the ecosystem and the bank's position within the ecosystem. So what we've got is you've got the banks, you've got the corporates, you've got the fintech private players just as ourselves even though we're a 40 year old fintech and you've got all the new market entrants regulators etc etc that means that there's got to be a whole new way of defining this market it's not a one size one mover early adopter type approach anymore it's a very collaborative approach and for that we have to have a platform so platforms for me are really fundamental to how corporate banking can grow can make the banks more agile and as an ecosystem people can work together So I think there's a few things. I think if we look at the main pain points, I talked about agility, so moving to simplicity is a key thing. So if people can simplify, they can give room for innovation and they can optimise their models. We recently did a survey and 82% of banks, corporate banks, said that um, they needed to get more agility. The silos were really starting to stop them from doing business, stopping them from growth. So we think that what we've grown here is putting uh, very much insights, dashboards, analytics across all of the silos, which is fundamental. Um, enabling with our platform, so putting platform as a service out to the market to enable the fintechs and the banks themselves to develop the solutions is a, is a big step forward. Um, and I also think if you look at the five pain points around a single customer view, which has been hitting the banks for a long time, the need to reduce the cost of onboarding, the need for visibility across liquidity and the management of liquidity, and then, then two real agility ones, the agility to launch products to market quickly and the agility to follow all of their customers into new geographies. That means that we've got to have something that goes across the silos, and that's what it comes down to. The agility comes from cutting across the silos, so we at MICE have implemented a one solution across connected corporate banking, the front end with the bank seeing some very intense dashboards by role that allows them to manage their business successively, become an advisor to the banks, which is what they really need, and also provide self-service through to the corporate clients so that they can do things on their own terms in their own way. And the key thing again is agility, agile solutions for the bank, agile solutions for the corporate, building a more agile market, and that is what we're trying to enable through our platform as a service. The regulatory landscape is not going to get easier. And I, I actually um, did an open theatre yesterday and I asked them all to put their hands up if they thought that regulations were going to get cheaper or simpler. Nobody surprisingly put their hands up. So I think that what we're doing from MICE is um, we're making sure that we can enable people to roll with agility. So PSD2 is a really good example. That is another part of the puzzle of opening up this entire ecosystem. So understanding how regulation, it's almost a deregulation in some ways because it's opening up the marketplace to a wider audience. So I think what we're doing again by enabling with the platform and with the growth of PSD2, working with fintechs, helping the banks develop their own solutions, um, we're building on that regulatory compliance um, change control as well. So every bank in the world would be obviously the way to go, but let's, let's define what every bank in the world is going to be. So I don't think anybody can really foresee what banking is going to be in 10, 15 years. I said earlier that banking's changed significantly. It, is banking going to become purely commoditized? Do we have lots of small banks providing um, specialized solutions, those services around making sure that the corporates are getting all the right services, advisory services? If so, does the number of banks expand, which is possible. It's been contracting for many, many years. And it's what is a bank defined as in the future? Because um, a bank as stands now, is it just somebody with a banking license? Is it somebody that's just regulated? I think that's going to change. And I say, there are no limits. We don't believe in limits. Um, I'm not even going to say the sky's the limit. It's as far as mice can dream it can be.